Hello, everyone. This is First Gentleman Marlon Reese, and I'm thrilled to celebrate Colorado Recycles Week with everyone today. Uh, none of this would be possible without the work of EcoCycle and Coperg, and I want to thank everyone who has worked so hard to put this year's report together. Uh, here in Colorado, we have worked to lay an important foundation, one that will serve as a springboard for reducing, reusing, and recycling in our state. The governor mentioned many of the exciting programs that are going into effect or have already gone into effect, and I'm excited to see their impact. Currently, less than one third of Coloradans have guaranteed access to recycling, and that number is even lower for Coloradans who live in apartment buildings and rural communities. With the implementation of the new producer responsibility system, in 2026, Colorado will skyrocket to the top tier with 100% of Coloradans having access to free recycling. Truly incredible. This isn't just good for our environment, it's good for our economy too. Recycling, reuse, and remanufacturing industries support nearly 86,000 jobs in Colorado and generate $8.7 billion in economic benefits each year. And these numbers will only continue growing as recycling and composting are more widely adopted across the state. So it's not just a moral responsibility we have to care for our environment, it's an economic necessity. We're also so proud that so many of Colorado's cities and counties continue leading the way when it comes to recycling and composting. Lafayette, Boulder, Denver, Frisco, Pitkin County, and more. These communities are true models, and we celebrate their innovative approach to reducing waste in our state. We have a lot to be proud of in Colorado, but we continue pushing toward an even bolder tomorrow to make our state a leader in recycling and composting that others can follow. Thank you all so much for your work to elevate the importance of recycling and composting in Colorado.